So, welcome to Techno Dad Life, and on today's episode, we're going to be installing headphones into a docker on our Open Media Vault. And as always, if you find this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, make sure you check out the Patreon link below. And here we go now. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started with headphones. So first we're going to type headphones into this box. And we're going to click on the Linux server version. We're going to start that. Once that's done, we're gonna click close. And we're gonna to go to headphones, click info. We're gonna scroll down to the usage area. So these are the things that we need to make sure we have. Next, we're gonna click shell in the box. Click web client, log in as root and your username and then type in id and then whatever your username is ours is user one and so here we need the uid and the gid so write those down click exit and close that i'm going to go back to docker click on headphones run image type in headphones as the container name restart policy always network mode is host and so here we're going to type in PUID. For me, that was a thousand. Click plus. PGID, that was a hundred. Click enter. Time zone. And for me, that is America slash New York. Hit plus. Next, we're going to go down to container path. Hit that slash and config file. And so if you haven't already, you go to your app data folder and simply create a headphones folder and that will be for our config so we're going to go to shared folders app data headphones okay hit plus next we're going to do another slash hit downloads go back to our shared folders go to downloads and we're going to click complete downloads click ok hit plus hit the slash again music so for this we're going to go to the shared folders again media click on the music folder and hit ok hit the plus sign next we're going to add in uh, one thing here and so volumes from we're going to click on transmission click the plus first and so what that will do is tell headphones to wait for transmission to start before it does its magic then click save now if we go down here, you can see headphones is started. So if we go back to our usage page, the port where we access it is 8181. So we copy our IP address, paste that here, backspace colon 8181, hit enter. And so now uh, headphones is started. So we're going to go through a couple of these things. So eventually artists will show up here as you start inputting different information. So let's go through the tabs here. So Wanted will show up the albums that you want and that are in the process of being downloaded or available. Extras will show similar artists to the ones you like. And Manage, so here we're gonna be doing a few different things. So one is Scan Music Library. We're going to simply type slash music. That's the name of our music library. Make sure this is checked automatically scan library and add new artists click save changes and scan and then you can see the library will be scanned if you have a last fm account it will import your favorite artists here force actions will enable you to force either check for albums artists updates uh, although the updates will be updated through the container so i wouldn't actually use that so force legacy i would just leave these alone Next, we'll click History, and this will show up the history of different things that you've added. And Logs will show what the program is doing. So for some reason, for me, it's looking for Justin Timberlake. And then the final one is over here, Web Interfaces. So these, uh, we do want to change a few things here. So automatically, headphones is not allowed to be accessed from outside your local uh, network. Download settings, so we actually have our transmission already installed. And so what we'll do is we'll bring that up. 
and copy our IP address from there. And we're going to paste that here. And so now it will automatically connect to transmission when it wants to download something. And uh, we do have to do one other thing. I don't have a username or a password. It's click Save Changes. And there you can see the changes have been saved. Search Providers, this is where you can add in any search provider that you want. Once we click on the Pirate Bay, then we want to scroll down and click Save Changes. And next, uh, if you want to change quality, you can do that here. And so uh, what we will do is post-processing. So we want Move Downloads to Destination Folder. Delete Leftover Files. We're going to click on our Slash Music Folder. Then click Save Changes. Notifications, if you want to have yourself notified if something's happening. Advanced settings, we're not going to change anything here. And now let's go back over to our home page. And here you can see it's suggesting different artists. And so what we'll do is we will type in Elton John, and there it's going to suggest it for me. So we're going to search for that. And so on this page, basically it's bringing up all the different names of people who have Elton or John in their name. And so our, we want the one that's on the top. So a couple of different things here. So if first we click on the microphone, and here it will give us Elton John's complete catalog of music. Next we're going to click on his name. And so now it's going to basically bring up Again, his complete catalog of music. And if we want, what we can do is, as things come up, we can scroll through the list and click just want, and then that will add it to our list of things to be watched for. So that's the basics of headphones. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and check down below for more links. And if you really found this helpful, check out my Patreon page to support future videos. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.